All right, welcome back to the channel. And Mikey Garcia is put on complete blast by Vasily Lomachenko, who said that he moved up to 147 pounds to fight Errol Spence Jr. and chickened out, just fought to survive, um, didn't fight to win, just dogs him out for that fight, man. And, you know, considering that Mikey Garcia is talking smack about uh, Errol Spence Jr. not being able to punch, this might be just about the right time to make this video. Let's talk about it coming up next. All right. Gotta love boxing, man. Boxing is one of these sports where, you know, when you talk a little bit of smack and if you got any type of baggage, you know, any type of, you know, bones in your closet, them mugs will eventually pop out on social media. And for Mikey Garcia, I got to say, I love it, man. I love it because get Mikey Garcia is first. He's an excellent fighter without a doubt. He's the best, my opinion, the one, probably the best 140 pound fighter in the world. The only problem is Mikey Garcia don't want to fight any of the other 140 pounds, 140 pounders. He wants to he wants to flit up to 147 pounds where he ain't going to be able to win a major fight, but yet hopefully position himself to a big major payday and a and a big new shiny belt so he can say he's a five time champ. Well, Vasil Lomachenko uh, pulled his tail on that one. Boop boop. Boy, you didn't even try to fight, is what he says. <laughs> so let's get into what Vasily Lomachenko had to say in Russian. I don't know if the if Ukraine is a language or if they just speak Russian, but I think they just speak Russian. Well, somebody sent me, shout out to my subscriber that sent me the link to a transcribed interview that took place with um Vasily Lomachenko out in the Ukraine. And he was asked about Mikey Garcia. And Mikey Garcia moving up to 147 and, and fighting Errol Spence Jr. And he talked about it, and it came up in the context of him moving up in different weight classes, right? So what Vasily Lomachenko said is, look, there is box, there are weight classes in boxing for a reason. People have to respect that you that boxing rules are designed so that people who have the same general physical size and the same general uh, I forget the word that he used, something about some highly technical world, word, uh, word using uh, related to your nervous system. But whatever it is, people that have those general same systems and sizes, to have them fight each other so that the fight will be fair. And the bigger you go, the more unfair it gets for the smaller guy, right? And that's what Vasily Lomachenko said with about Guillermo Rigondeaux. He didn't disrespect. I like Vasily Lomachenko, man. Like, I like him. Okay. All of the stuff going on around him, like, well, it's kind of calmed down. There's not as much super over-the-top Vasily Lomachenko hype. But, you know, he himself, when you listen to what he says, dog, it's a hardcore dude, man. That's a rough, tough fighter, and he's just honest and cut straight to the chase. So he says about the weight, you know, saying that there's different weight classes for reason, for reasons, and, you know, because he's somebody that is not going to move up to 140 40 pounds. He's not going to move up to 147 pounds because he's saying, look, man, I'm just I'm not that big. And to his credit, also. Vasily could move up to 147. It would just take a heaping glob of steroids to get up there. Right. But he could do it. He could computer all for days. But still, it's not going to it's not going to lengthen his arms or anything like that. But. You know, you get my point. So he's being straight up about it. He's not moving up in weight. But when he talks about Mikey Garcia, dude, he says exactly what it is that many, many, many people believe about believed about Mikey Garcia. And is that Mikey Garcia did not go up in there with Errol Spence Jr. trying to win a fight. He went up into that fight. He went up in that fight to try to stand up for 12 rounds and get out of it saying he survived. Right now, why do I think that's important to bring up right now? Because Mikey Garcia is somehow on some type of nonsense about Mike, uh, about Errol Spence Jr. doesn't have very much punching power. And he thinks he think he said some side, you know, some some slick, you know, comment about Errol Spence Jr. needing to learn how to drive. You know, I got a lot of respect for a lot of boxing channels, dude. And I know that there are people that really rock with Mikey Garcia and don't understand, you know, what all the Mikey Garcia hate comes from. Uh, Mikey Garcia is a jerk. 
gate. The dude is just a jerk. And say so for him to say a guy like Errol Spence Jr. can't punch when you got beat pillar to post by this guy that could not punch. If he can't punch or doesn't punch that hard, why are you covering up the whole fight? Why are you, why do you throw, when he's out of range, why are the only punches that you're throwing ones when he's out of range, right? Where he's far away from you and he's clearly out of range. You're going to throw a jab out. You throw a straight right out, have no chance on landing it whatsoever. But as soon as he gets back close to you, hands over your head, hands over your chin, elbows protecting your ribs. You know, you'd rather take a body shot than take a head shot. You were not going to let him hit you in the head. More, you know, more than with a jab, everything else you were willing to give to give the body up because you figures you could take enough body punishments to just get through the fight. But you were never going to get to the point with your body shots that you were going to drop your hands to protect and leave your head up there where the heavier man can touch your chin and drop you. So to me, the entire performance against Mikey Garcia, dude, was just straight cowardice, man. Like you're in there, you're in there to say that you were in there. You're in there to go the distance against a guy that's knocking everybody out, and now you're going to run around talking about how the guy doesn't have power and he needs to learn how to drive, dog. How about this, Mikey? How about you fight people your own size? You leave big boys alone. Stop trying to cherry pick Stop trying to cherry pick an old Manny Pacquiao, and you go to your weight class at 140 pounds and fight the guys at 140 pounds. Fight the Regis, pre, pre, fight, fight Regis Progray, fight Josh Taylor, fight Jose Ramirez, and I don't care if he's in the same camp as you. What difference does that make? Fight Jose Ramirez. Fight If you want to fight somebody at 147, fight the tough guys at 147. Fight Sean Porter. Fight Ray Robinson. You know what I mean? Fight those guys so that you can get, so that you, some, somebody can say, oh, yeah, man, this dude, Mikey, really is a legitimate 147-pounder. Because of right as of right now, you got, what, one win at 147 against Jesse Vargas, who really 140-pounder and ain't that good? But you got to win over a guy. You got to win over a guy that, dude, in my opinion, Adrian Bronner beat him. Some people say, oh, Jesse Vargas really deserved it. Nah, you're just used to people getting the call over Adrian Bronner. Uh, Adrian, uh, uh, Vargas didn't do anything to Adrian Bronner that, to set himself apart from Adrian Bronner. I thought Adrian Bronner won that fight. And quite honestly... There really wasn't too. You didn't. Mikey Garcia didn't give too much a better show against Adrian against uh, Jesse Vargas and Mikey Gar than Adrian Bronner did. Adrian Bronner is 135, 140 pounder, right? Jesse Vargas is a little 140, 47. He was fighting at 140. So, and then you want to fight Manny Pacquiao, who really, truly, again, is not really 147 pounder in his as far as his size goes. But he's old, and maybe you think that you know the book on him and you can beat him. It's a bunch of gamesmanship. But if you're going to move to 147, move to 147 to prove that you're the best at 147. Don't just sit out to the side hoping that you can get a Mikey, you can get, uh, that you can get, you know, be the beneficiary of Manny Pacquiao's duck move on Errol Spence. And I mean duck move on Errol Spence. Because when Errol Spence and Mikey Garcia fought each other, and, and Mikey Garcia, Errol Spence beat the brakes off Mikey Garcia, Manny Pacquiao was sitting right there ringside looking like he wanted to fight the winner. But when the winner wound up to be an absolute one-sided win by, Mike, by Errol Spence, all of a sudden he got a little bit shy and didn't want to smoke. But yet now he's still willing to negotiate with Mikey Garcia. It's just a, it's just a crock. And, I, and that's why, man, my hat goes off, to, goes off to Vasily Lomachenko for calling it what it is, man. Mikey moved up. Mikey moved up for a publicity stunt, pretty much. And then he covered up and he covered up and tried to make sure that the that he could end that publicity stunt with him not getting knocked out and then act as if he maybe he did something unique about unique with Errol Spence Jr. It's all it's just it's completely and utterly a crock, man. Mikey Garcia needs to fight at 140 pounds it, or just go away, man. Just go away, dude. All of these records that these guys are trying to set, which really aren't records. They're just like things that the media can put out there to make you look better and maybe try to drive, you know, drive your your asking price up for the next fight. You know, silly records like I want to be the first person in to win a win win uh fights, win championship belts in two weight divisions in in nine and a half months. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fight the weakest guy in my division because we got four belts, and then I'm gonna fight the weakest guy in the next division who is really just a guy who is holding a belt, is holding, you know, is holding a belt, but really should be fighting in a weight class below 
you know, that type of garbage, man. I'm not trying to hear it, man. Shout out to Vasily Lomachenko for saying what it is. It's just Mikey Garcia is just full of it, man. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Thank you guys so much for supporting the Patreon, for being members to the channel. Um, if you like the video, make sure you like the video, share the video, uh, and all that good stuff. Um, and with that, I'm out. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Peace.